Okay, so this video, I'll be working on one of my own cassette decks. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing today is removing that capstan and then sanding it, okay, with oil and an emery cloth, uh, like a 600 grit wet dry sandpaper and some oil to give that capstan a nice cleaner smoother surface and you know maybe i'll replace the whole flywheel maybe not we'll see when we get it on the bench and we get it out and sand it and check it all out so we'll see so let me get this deck out of the stack get it on the workbench so i'm gonna pause the video i'll be back okay now we're at the workbench so i have to get this nice wooden cabinet off just has four screws and it comes right off Okay, with the top of the cabinet off, there's no real way to sand a capstan shaft while it's inside the deck. That would be very difficult with this deck. <clears throat> and you don't want to be getting a bunch of oil and stuff inside the mechanism anyway, okay? So... But there's no easy way to do it. Flywheel has to come out. So this screw right here, this screw right here, okay? Disconnect the belt and this flywheel will come right out of here, which is pretty easy. I mean, it's a very serviceable cassette deck. That's why I like these Marantz cassette decks. They're very easy to access, you know, stuff like that. So, all right. These will come right out. All the Loctite's been removed. This has been totally rebuilt a couple times by me. So, this is the one I even changed the motor on. So, time to get this bracket off and get this flywheel out onto the table. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some tweezers to reach down in here, okay? And to get that belt off of that shaft, okay? So, <clears throat> I don't wanna get any oil on this belt. So I'll just slide that off of the shaft and then the belt will come off with the flywheel. So, but this bracket has been loosened. Both screws have been taken out. So this bracket will come off. Okay. So just set that aside all right so let's take the little tweezers and just slip that right off of the shaft okay trying to do this and hold the cell phone is a pain in the ass but you know I'm not the richest channel on YouTube, so. Okay. There's the belt, nice and clean. So, okay, this fly will just slide right out of here. Now there's a couple washers inside here Okay, so you want to be careful not to lose them. I'm 
might have to reach inside and get him with some tweezers. Yeah, of course. So, if you look inside there, you can see the washers are still in there. Okay. So, I'll have to reach inside there and get those little black washers out of there. Tweezers will get them out of there just fine. So, pause the video. Okay. So you can see those washers are no longer in that hole. They are right here on the table. A little stack of three. So, okay, so what we're doing here is this captain shaft right here. Okay, you can see those little tiny marks on it. Okay, it almost kind of looks like there's just hair on it, right? But it's not. It's like little hairline scratches. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a little bit of sand on a little piece of emery cloth. This is a 600 grit. And I'm just going to put this on there and then just spin it. Okay, a whole bunch of times. I don't want to go up and down, okay? I want it to spin normally, okay? So, I'm going to pause this video. I really do need to get a tripod. But basically, I'm just going to slide this on here with some oil. Okay, and then just spin the flywheel, okay, until it has a nice, fresh, smooth, clean surface. So, let me pause this video, and I'll be right back. All right, so, a little bit of oil, just your regular three-in-one multi-purpose you know <clears throat> a little piece of emery cloth this is 600 grit all right put a little oil on the shaft itself okay and all i did was squeeze that sandpaper on that shaft and then spin it okay just like this okay and that turned out extremely well. You don't see those little scratches anymore. Looks brand new. So yeah, that worked out pretty good. So it's time to get this all cleaned up. I'm going to clean it all up with alcohol. And then I'll put a tiny bit of oil on it, some clean oil. Get these washers put back on there. And get it back into the mechanism. So. All right. Okay. So the sanding has been done. The cleaning has been done. So I gave it an extra wipe down with some alcohol. Then I put a little bit of fresh oil on the shaft with a Q-tip. Just enough to get the shaft, shaft damp, you know. You don't want to get any oil on this shiny part right here. Okay, because that's where the idler tire spins. Okay, so I cleaned that with alcohol. So now we can stick this back into the mechanism. Okay. So there we go. That's back into the mechanism. 
So what I'm going to do is this little bearing right here. <clears throat> we'll just give it a, a drop of oil. So a little more than enough there. And clean that up with a Q-tip. So now we just have to get this belt back on here and connect it to the motor. Then I can put this bracket back on. So, okay, bracket is back on. So, flywheel is in. The belt is back up and around the motor where it belongs. Okay. So, now, while I'm in here, before I go putting the top back on it and putting it back inside the stack again, okay, before I do all that, okay, just for the hell of it, we're going to give these idler tires in here some rubber renew, okay, because they are 44 years old, all right, and you, you know, you want to preserve them as long as possible. They're a pain in the ass to buy. They're a pain in the ass to size. And, you know, that's what runs the forward and the rewind. This cassette deck can play. You don't need any of this stuff. All you need is a motor and a flywheel. And this deck will play. So, but for the fast forward, rewind and all that good stuff for the auto stop. You know, you need that stuff to work. So, it's going to get some rubbery new. And, uh, I still have to clean the oil off the front of that capstan before I go playing any tapes in it. So, but, I throw a little rubbery new on here. Soak a Q-tip. And then just spin the wheels. And that will do just fine. All right, so they look a lot better. So be careful using that stuff. It's poisonous, dangerous, you know, all that nasty stuff. So don't get it on your skin. Don't sit there sniffing the bottle. Put the cap back on it when you're not using it, okay? Put the Q-tip in a Ziploc baggie or whatever it is just to keep the fumes away from you. Okay. It's not something to be getting stoned on. So, okay. We are done in here. It's time to spin it around. Clean that front capstan. And stick a tape in it. So the easiest way to clean the oil off of this is with the fast forward going. There's an alcohol on a Q-tip. It even feels so much smoother. Excellent. <clears throat> so yeah, that shaft looks brand spanking new. That was well worth it. So... Yeah, this gig is done. Well, I'd play a tape for you.
But YouTube will strike my video down if I do. I don't have any... I don't have any music that isn't going to get me some copyright strikes. So... <clears throat> be blank. Yeah. Must be blank. That must have been from whenever I was aligning the heads on another cassette deck. Okay, so this seems to be working just perfectly. Okay. Any more of that, YouTube will strike my video. And yeah, they probably will. So... That's how you sand the capstan. Just put a little bit of oil on some sandpaper. You know, some high grit, you know, 600 grit or 1,000 grit, whatever. Just put some oil on it. Get it nice and soaking wet with oil. Okay? And spin that capstan shaft. Okay, I rotated it probably around a hundred times. Okay, you know, I wasn't going side to side. I was going this way. All right, the same way that it spins. All right, so that's all. And it got all those little hairline scratches and all that. Made it nice and smooth. Looks brand new. All cleaned up. Sounds perfect to me. So. Alright. That's enough of this video. All the belts are done. None of them have any binds or twists in them. All the little idlers got their rubber renew. So. All the screws are in. Everything's good. I can put this back into the stack. So. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Later.